This is Sarah, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about user interfaces, particularly the one I made for the Shibon project, and it's called the uh, Pop Girl. <laughs> for reasons. So with this project, there's all this stuff going on with my body. There are uh, sensors going in, sensing stuff, and then there's mechanical electronic indicators going out, and I kind of wanted to have a better sense of what was going on with my body at any one point in time, so I decided to create a arm-mounted status indicator, which is on my arm right now. The point of this thing is to basically tell me what's going on with everything else regarding the Shibon project at a glance. So if I look down at my arm, um, I see this cute little body right here, uh, this little like gingerbread robot girl. So if I poke her like anywhere in the body, it'll take me to this menu that has all of the individual augments, like the body parts that augments are connected to. So those are my nine body pieces. If I go so far as to poke a specific, I don't know, body part, let's pick the nips, it'll take me to a, uh, a sub-menu with an icon of the nipple. It'll show me the value that the sensor is receiving so that I have a sense of what's going on with any particular body part at any point in time. Like if I click on the head, um, there's like a little happy face. If I click on the neck, I don't know what that is, it looks like bacon. <laughs> um, if I click on the uh, the right arm, um, there's like, I don't know what I was going to do with the right arm, but there's droplets there. I don't know. The point is, if you click on any one of these things, it'll tell you information. So to produce this box and all of its retro goodness, I collaborated with Mark to make it happen because I, I wouldn't have known exactly what to put in here to make it work. He does, however. I picked out the screen. It's a five inch Raspberry Pi touch screen from Adafruit. There's also a Raspberry Pi Zero in here, a logic converter and a voltage regulator gland, and they're just sort of mashed in there. I also created a custom little button board with just some normal push buttons soldered to perf board. The best plan of action for assembling a enclosure like this that I, I found through um, trial and error is to have a faceplate for the screen that is sort of its own independent assembly and then a bracket that all of your circuit boards mount to. And once all of the circuit boards are mounted to this PCB bracket, that whole assembly then mounts to your faceplate. The part, I would say the arm mount, the bottom part of the sandwich, that then mounts also to the faceplate, sort of around the PCB bracket. So you can kind of think of this thing as like a sandwich. It kind of looks like a sandwich too, right? It's a pop girl, but it looks like a po' boy. There's the top bread, there's the meat in the middle, and then there's like the bottom bread. And a way to think of this is everything mounts to the top piece of bread. So that's how I did it. That's what's going on inside of here. Um, if you're interested in building this enclosure yourself, I have very detailed instructions on exactly how to do so on my blog as well as my Hackaday IO page. Mark and I made this as it stands in a little under two weeks. So the way that I would actually like this to manifest is more in a, a form factor that fits on the back of my hand, probably on something tiny and intimate like an e-ink display. Sensor fusion, that's what it was. So I want to create like a sensor fusion display that has one graph and it shows me all the different sensor values as they relate to one another. So I can just look down and see them kind of drifting upwards or downwards in a trend relative to one another. For the next iteration of this, I'm going to work towards that like smaller, more intimate form factor polygraph type sensor fusion hand mounted display. I think I'm going to work on the augment for the neck next, which is something I haven't even talked about yet, but like ideas have been forming in my mind over the past like two or three days now, and they're going to happen. Um, until my next update on Shibon, keep making awesome stuff out there, and as always, thank you for watching.